We are getting a better idea of what's going to replace an adventure landing on Beach Boulevard now. A lot of people are upset it's closing. Yeah. Last week we told you the park will close for good by the end of the year. News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno joins us. So what is the future of the park? So I can officially now confirm that it's going to be those multifamily apartment complex. And the attorney is calling it a fresh and modern start for a venture landing, but it is being met with mixed emotions. Paige Schicker is one of the many Jacksonville natives who grew up going to Adventure Landing. It's sad. Yeah, I was talking to my cousin about it. We used to go as kids and he's like, it hurts my heart. You know, we have so many memories there for sure. For more than two decades, Adventure Landing has been a land park for drivers heading to Jacksonville's beaches. Soon they'll be met with this. These are renderings obtained by the Daily Record of the 427 unit apartment complex with a four level parking garage built by Travato Development Group. How could we possibly need more condos? But you know, and it, this was just such a cool little place. We don't really have anything else like it. Tony Rivera says he has no problem with more housing by the beaches. Maybe think of a structure that offers some units for low income, middle income and upper income. That seems unlikely. The developer said they expect rent to be comparable to the Blue Water Apartments on Beach Boulevard. Rent there is currently listed starting at $2,000 up to more than $5,000 a month. And at a city commission meeting, the developer said that they actually plan to go into the community and get some insight as to what they want to see for this future project. I did reach out to the attorney representing the developer. I was told that I would not receive any new additional statements at this point until July 5th, at least July 5th, I should say. I also reached out to Adventure Landing and have not heard back. For now, reporting live at Adventure Landing, I'm Lauren Verno, Channel 4, the local station. And Lauren, what do we know about the other two adventure landing parks? Yeah, so we'll give you a timeline of where we're at with the two others. So there's three in total in the northeast Florida area. The west side location already closed its doors on Sunday. The location behind me, the Jacksonville Beach location, that is going to close at the end of October. That's according to the bankruptcy documents. And the one in St. Augustine, so far we haven't heard any reason to believe that they're closing at all. Stacey Tark. Thanks, Lauren Verno.